Hi friends, this is Firearm Pop, and this is another in my edition of Armed Citizen Stories. And this one, once again, is coming right out of First Freedom Magazine, and it's Armed Citizen Stories. So, without further ado, let's get going here. Zachary Herzog, 26, and Michelle Ozier, 25, entered a C&D drive through one afternoon and refused to pay for a bottle of wine. When the store clerk, James Edwards, tried to intervene, Herzog shoved him out of the way and went to the cash register while Ozar held Edwards at gunpoint. Meanwhile, the store owner, 39-year-old Wesley Hand, was in his office watching the burglary unfold on the security camera. Hand grabbed his gun and crept into the store. One of the gunmen spotted him and fired, but missed. Khan returned fire, striking Ozar in the in the chest, abdomen, right leg, and right arm. <clears throat> Severely wounded, Ozar fled, collapsing just a few blocks away. Khan held Herzog at gunpoint until police arrived and Ozar was later taken to an, a local hospital. Both men faced aggravated robbery charges. And this is the Cincinnati Inquirer in uh, College Hill, Ohio. World War II Army veteran and retired postal worker Jack Goodwin was in bed listening to a basketball game one evening when he heard glass breaking. The 87-year-old picked up his gun and followed the sound down the hallway to a rear window. When Goodwin saw the intruders at his window, he raised his gun and fired. The wounded intruder was hospitalized in critical condition while the second intruder is still at large. After the incident, Goodwin said, I knew one thing, they were going to deal with me because if you've got enough nerve to break in someone's house when they're home, you've got enough nerve to kill you. See, there's no ifs and about it. And that's uh, in the CBS uh, Los Angeles, Baldwin Hills, California. Uh, kudos, 87 year old guy uh, doing uh, what he had to do. Home Alone, a 17-year-old girl, did not answer the door when the doorbell rang. Shortly thereafter, she heard someone jump over the gate in the backyard. She then saw a man reach through the, the home's doggy door and attempt to unlatch it. The girl quickly armed herself and fired a shot at the doggy door. Without hesitation, the suspect fled. It is unknown whether or not the man was injured. The area was heavily searched, but police were unable to locate the man. Good, good deal. And that was in Arizona, Glendale, Arizona, as a matter of fact. Uh, I know some people that live in Glendale. Anyway, instead of going, going to school, three teenagers went on a crime spree robbing two pedestrians. The teens then attacked a 65-year-old man riding a bicycle on a public trail. The man was carrying a concealed firearm and fort back, shooting two of the three assailants. Shot in the chest, one assailant was pronounced dead at the scene. The second was struck in the neck and taken to the local hospital. Thirteen was uh, charged with robbery, aggravated assault, as well as other related offenses. And this is in Reading Eagle, uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. Now, it, you know, it, it's sad when anyone loses their life, and, uh, and we don't, never applaud that, okay? I, I got some comments on my last one that they thought it sounded like I was happy someone died. No, I'm not. Uh, but uh, when it comes down to this, this case, 65-year-old man minding his own business and three snot-nosed kids trying to uh, to uh, harass him and 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 what do you call it, jeopardize his life, I uh, applaud the 65-year-old man for doing what he had to do. <clears throat> My opinion. Between 2 and 3 p.m., a woman was stopped along the highway when a man approached her car door. He pulled out a knife and, it, and, appeared the, and appeared to already have been bloody blade and demanded that she go with him. He threatened her, telling her that if she did not comply, she would end up like the woman on TV. The woman believed he was referring to a missing teacher confirmed dead just days before. She told the man to wait while she got her cigarettes, then reached down and pulled out a gun. The man quickly fled, and this was... Uh, in uh, Bozeman, Montana. Okay. As Nazir Al 
Bujanin, I, I murdered that name, entered a, an Aldi grocery store with his wife. He saw a man approaching the cashiers with a shotgun and demanding money. Having just obtained his concealed carry permit in January, uh, Al Mahaji uh, drew his uh, semi automatic 9mm handgun after motioning to another customer to move away. When the suspect turned toward him, pointing the shotgun directly at him, Al fired several shots, striking the robber in the head and leg. The robber dropped the shotgun and fled. He and an accomplice were later arrested after being treated for injuries. This is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, good for him. Just uh, a brand new uh, concealed carry holder taking action. Police received a call from a 15-year-old girl claiming there was someone trying to get in her house while she was home alone. She reported that she heard the front door jiggle, looked out of the window and saw two men there. One man managed to get into the garage where he was attempting to steal a pickup truck. After retrieving her father's handgun, the girl confronted the man in the garage, causing him to immediately flee. His accomplice, who had already made his way inside, was ransacking the contents of the home, quickly followed suit. And that was in Texas City, Texas. Don't mess with those Texas girls. Uh, anyway, uh, some real good stories today. I, I just love it when the senior citizens uh, uh, protect themselves. And uh, that's why we conceal carry. So uh, the more we spread the word that uh, just because there's some gray on the top doesn't mean uh, that we are defenseless and, uh, and, and pray. Okay, we're not pray. Okay, hope you enjoyed those stories today. This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now. This is Fire on Pop, and I approve of this message.